Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See? This time we have a life. What? Yeah, it didn't fucking work. Hey! You better let us out once we're done investigating here. I'm the one who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time. It's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. Uh, shut up. Shut up. See? So it is you guys. No, you're stupid. The last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Like my girlfriend. Uh oh. Oh. Now I made myself sad. Damn it, I keep accidentally skipping the fucking. Damn it. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. That's when shit gets fucked up, yo. Do you really get it, Teddy? Do you really get it? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it! If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent. That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. Stop fucking accusing us, Jesus! I've not had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? I'm just saying that you might be the culprits. You might be the culprit too. Sure. So fucking explain yourself. No. Nah. Piece of shit. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Seventeen fucking minutes and nothing's happened. Yay. Like, I love this game to death, but, like, the beginning is so goddamn slow. <laughs> huh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. The fuck do you mean, Bear? Only me and Shadows are here. I told you before. Look, we don't know what these shadow things are. Or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. That's what I've been saying. I'd say it's time you show your face. And he's just a costume. Whoa. What the hell are you? It's empty inside. That's totally not creepy at all. Man, it's really weird listening to the old uh, Teddy VA as well as the old Chie VA. So like Teddy's just super high pitch. Uh, fucking uh, Nathan didn't believe me when um uh, when I said that the older Teddy VA was more annoying than the one that there is uh, that uh, is voicing Teddy now. I showed him this. He was kind of fucking blown away. What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. Really, a sentient fucking uh, teddy bear costume is crying in front of you, and only now it's creeping you out. Hey, what should we do? We should kick it in the face. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. 
Shout out to Igor and his fucking sweet choose your own adventure going on the MLP board. <laughs> Did I mention that last time? That someone on 4chan's MLP board is actually doing a Persona crossover? Choose your own adventure fucking thing? That's been going on like all year I think. Like, it's both amazing and kind of dumb at the same time. Because, you know, ponies and shit. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Also, shout out to the guys in that thread for telling me that, um... The original version of Persona 4 has absolutely no downside to, like, hooking up with all the girls. I didn't even know that because, like, I'm not a shallow person. Well, I am, but not the kind of person who would, you know, go around, like, just picking up chicks for no reason. Just, like, to start my own harem. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing in this fucking playthrough. Get as much waifus as possible. You mean Saki-senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. Oh yeah, the sweet fucking glasses. What are these glasses for? We can actually see, yay! Whoa! The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. So much fucking talking, goddamn. On you. There better not be any monsters, you understand? Uh, this is the one thing, in my opinion, Persona 3 has... Like, did a lot better than Persona 4, and it's just the beginning. It's like, yeah, Persona 3 is also very wordy, but, like, within 10 minutes you're fighting. Unlike this one, where it can take, like, an hour, hour and a half. I wanna push him. I wanna push him. Fuck you! Oh, he looks pathetic, but he's like one of the best fucking, uh, party members in the game. Oh no, I spoiled it. Oh, it's not as if the opening fucking, uh, cutscene didn't spoil that. That doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. Fucking pathetic little shit. What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. What's going on here? Yeah, very fucking eerie. Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled. I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? We better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. Of course not! I mean, uh... Blah, 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 blah. Fucking get on with it. Man, they really went all out on this. Out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this? The only reason why I'm not skipping all these fucking... Uh, all these fucking talking bits, except for when I accidentally do it, uh, is because for some odd reason people go to Let's Plays to, like, fucking find out about the story, instead of, you know, looking up walkthroughs, or those, um, or go to channels that just upload clips of the game for people who want to watch the clips of the game. 
And then they fucking complain to Let's Players because they talk over all the cutscenes. It's like, yeah, that's what we do. Fucking hell, 24 minutes into the fucking recording and finally something happens. About to have the first fucking fight of the game. I think altogether that's... Like, just under two hours. In like, this recording session. Time for some cool shit. Just realized that I didn't turn my TV down enough, so there's probably an echo on the game audio. And that's going to piss me off during editing. Oh yeah, fucking cool shit. Fucking Izanaki bitches. do I remember that since this is the original version of P4 uh, once I hit him to level 6 he's going to be fucking completely useless great fuck because uh, the past two months I've been playing um, uh, Golden I've finished the fucking game like three times already in the past two months because like, Persona 4 is like the one game I can play over and 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 fucking over again. And I'll never fucking get sick of it. And I've been playing uh, Izanagi only runs. And in my opinion, that's how you should play the game. Because it is so much easier and you can fucking... You become the most badass motherfucker ever. Like, so fucking quickly. You become, like, overpowered at, like, level 20. You can get, like, almost twice the amount of stats as fucking everyone else because of the whole, um, uh, after battle fucking shuffle time thing that they have. And, uh, the use of, uh, skill cards lets you give personas whatever fucking moves they want, so, yeah, Izanagi can be the most overpowered son of a bitch in the world. Like... After one playthrough, I almost got all of his stats maxed out. Everything was 99 except for his agility, which was at 97. And he had fucking Zyodyne and Maziodyne, which are like the most dependable fucking lightning based attacks. Uh, the strongest uh, all enemy insta kill moves, uh, both light and dark. Uh, Midji Dolon, which is like the strongest almighty attack, which is a move that a lot of fucking bosses near the end game use. And, uh, uh, absorb wind to fucking block his, uh, wind weakness. And a move that decreases all enemies' defenses. So, nothing could beat me. Fucking nothing. It is so much fun playing Izanagi only runs. If you want to, like, if you're listening to this and you have fucking golden, go back and fucking do an Izanagi only run. Is that shit is fun as fuck? 